watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome to our continuing coverage of CES 2015. I'm John P. And I'm Georgia. Are you excited? I am so excited. We're going to get this day, you and I, partners in crime, we're going to get this day rolling. Just like last year. Yes. Did we start it last year too? I I don't know if we started, but okay. I, I, was, but I was, was with you last I year. I know. So. I'm, you make me look good. I'm not going to lie. We need a little bit of professionalism around here, and that's what you do. Well, so. Ben, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just causing trouble wherever I go. That's my, my main motto. All right. Well, we have something that is not trouble. We've actually got a special guest for you guys. We've got Petro here from Bang & Olufsen. How are you, sir? Good, doing great. Doing How's great. the show doing? Show's doing great. Did I pronounce Bang & Olufsen correctly? Absolutely perfectly. I always worry about it because I'm, I'm from Texas and you know, Texans don't hardly know how to speak. And then <laughs> when you get anything in there that's kind of an exotic name, like Bang & Olufsen, you just don't want to do it wrong. No, yeah, it's very true. It's pretty phonetic, and not to, I think everyone's more afraid of looking at it than actually saying it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that happens. <laughs> That's why everybody calls me John P, because my last name is just so intimidating. It's, you don't even want to look at it. <laughs> yeah. But these I want to look at. These there are new, new headphones from yes. B&O. Yes, these are our, our brand new H8 headphones on our, our BL Play line. Um, they are <clears throat> active noise canceling, Bluetooth 4.0, uh, wireless headphones. A um, lot of cool features on them. For us, the, one of the, the three main points for us are, we first start off with super quality materials. Um, when something looks like leather, it is real leather, cowhide leather, uh, lambskin leather on the ear pieces. Wow, lambskin. Um, Jeez. With uh, memory foam um, in the actual ear pieces, so you got the super comfortable feel to it. Um, all the metal is real aluminum, uh, forged in our factories in Denmark. Um, so it gives it a really, really good uh, durability and stability to the headphone, but also makes it super lightweight. So 255 grams, or for the Americans, half a pound. Wow. Um, so uh, as far as we, we've measured, uh, it's the lightest of its kind with both Bluetooth and um, active noise canceling. Um, so you get, you know, on the long rides where you can, um, on the plane, you, you get to have it without having a heavy headset on your head. Now I noticed these are on-ear as yes. opposed to over-ear yes. head headphones. Yes. Um, are, are you guys, did you, why'd you make that choice? Any particular reason? Or are you going to have over ear and on ear or just stick to the on ear? So we actually were making these uh, about two years ago and about a year and a half ago we launched our over ear headphones which are H6s. Okay. Um, and those are wired, they're not wireless. Um, what we found was that the, the comfort on the um, on ear with the memory foam was quite nice and it actually helps with the active noise canceling. Um, because so it kind of seals around right, the ear yeah, well or exactly. something? You don't have to worry about sizing on ears and it sits nicely on the thing. For us, the biggest thing about active noise canceling was that we're big on audio and we want audio to be at a high fidelity level. And um, so what took us a long time being one of the last ones maybe to market was that we wanted to perfect the sound and making sure that it sounded at the level Bang & Olufsen wanted yeah. um, and still have quality active noise canceling. So that kind of took us a little longer. Um, but we're super happy with what we came with and ended up with. So can I can I take Please, a look at go them? Right ahead, they yes. look absolutely stunning yes. and comfortable. I notice there's sorry, like, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I notice there's like a little there's a tiny little microphone like on the side. Is that a microphone, I guess? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, that for a mic is that for the active noise cancellation? Is that for the talking, or is that, that what is that for? That one is actually for the talking, but okay. there are mics surrounding the outside and the inside for the active noise cancellation, right, to get the, the sound from the outside and then to take it out of your ears. Um, the other thing you're looking at on the aluminum is one of our other innovations is actually what we call touch on aluminum. Yeah, I see some little the little markings there and a little like circular ring around it Right, or just to right. let you know that this is the side that has the touch aluminum. You don't actually oh, have to beautiful. see anything. Um, it's, a, it's a swipe and play, so to turn volume up and down, you, you turn sideways, oh. to swipe the track, you swipe backwards. To answer a phone call, you tap. To make the last call, you double tap. Um, to turn on active noise canceling, you swipe up, you swipe down to turn it off. So it's all very swipe oriented. The coolest part about it is that it has nothing to do with actual capacity. So most touch items are, have to do with moisture on your hand, whether they're dry, you know, if you're wearing gloves that don't have the it special touch. It causes a problem. Of, right, you bad can't for touch. Canada. Right, yeah. yeah exactly. So uh, for us, what works really well is that this is actually, there's a, a sensitivity sensor underneath the aluminum, so it has to do with actual pressure on the aluminum. 
So no matter what you're wearing, as long as you're pressing, even it'll, with it'll gloves. read the sensors, even you with still gloves. Deal with it. That is super sweet. Yes. I, okay. have a, I have a great tip, is that you just have to wear these and no one will bother you even if nothing's on. <laughs> yes, that's exactly Nice. Right. <laughs> and so I have to ask, when are they available and how much? Uh, they are actually available uh, this month. They will be launching right after CES. Okay. And um, US pricing will be a $4.99 retail. Um, so it's just above our 399, which is our H6 just before it. So it's right around the, the normal Bluetooth and uh, active noise canceling range. Um, so we're super excited about it. And then we also have the, our last patent that we're running is actually, um, we have a, a power management patent that we're using on all our new technology that allows the, them to run for 14 hours with active noise canceling and Bluetooth Oh, that's running. what I was going to ask next. Yeah, yes. like how long will they? So you got 14 so hours of runtime, which is great on a long flight. You, you could fly to, to, uh, to Japan and, yep. and, and, and listen to it the whole way. Yep. Now you could, you, I, I noticed they do also have, uh, it charges with apparently a micro USB, I guess. Exactly right. We've got micro USB, we've got power on and off. Um, and does this mean that I could plug it in and use it not with Bluetooth? Exactly, you could. If you're bad, you think your battery may be running low, you plug it in, maybe you, you maybe want to plug. Plug it in and yep. ready to go. You don't have the Bluetooth running um, and it works really well that way also. Um, the other thing you'll find is that the batteries are replaceable. So if you have, an yeah, I was going to say, is this a door over here yes, for the is. battery? Yep. So I can yep. like uh, do that and oh, nice. So you could take um, an extra battery with you. You could take an extra. Yeah, yeah. That's so really cool. Lots of options. Um, a lot of small details were thought out um, in making these headphones. That is super nice. I love the feel of this uh, lamb skin. They're exceptionally comfortable. And I also like that there's a big L and a big R on the inside so that you That's can tell. I, I mean, you know, it's just, you know, even with these little, I'm wearing a little earpiece. I, I need an L and an R on it so I know which one it goes in, you know, so that's uh, that's very nice. Well, these are beautiful. Thank you. And uh, any other any other big new stuff we should look for coming out of BNO uh, soon? Yeah, we actually uh, also see us. We're launching our BL uh, BL Sound Moment, which is our brand new audio head unit for the home. Um, it allows you to consolidate all your audio, um, whether it's on your TV or from streaming radio stations, and it really consolidates all of it for you. Learns your your habits, what kind of music you listen to, and there's a couple different ways for you to interact depending on your technical expertise. You know, in the family home, you have the, the mom who maybe just wants to press a button and wants her music to play, and you have the 14-year-old who's like, oh, let me let me dive into this and play with the swiping and kind of go through deep. So you can, on all levels of technical ability, you can really play with the system. And so. you can have separate systems so that I'm not going to be listening to yes, what someone yes, else yep. might be listening to. 100%. I have my own set. Yep, own sets, like multi-room audio all built in. So it's really, really great system. So we're launching it at CES this year, which will be available um, in 2015. So The one thing that I have to say that I miss a little bit, I kind of miss CDs for one reason. I'm sure you probably hear this a lot because B and O made these cool, like I remember the coolest like audio systems ever. You'd walk over to it and there's glass over it. Oh, remember yes. you like reach towards it to like reach towards the CD player and the doors would just magically slide open. I was like, oh, that's so. But we don't have anything to like make yes. them magically move around anymore, do we? No, no. There's not not so much of the magic. I mean, a lot of sensors turn things yeah. on as you get close, right? Yeah, that glass was cool. very cool. That right was there. very cool. And it's, it's funny because you mentioned that because actually it's our, our best-selling product was a VO Sound 9000, which was our six. CD changer yeah. that opened oh, when you came I close to it. Yeah, it was so sexy. And it was actually the re, the, the, okay. the defining moment behind what we're doing with the moment right now, yeah. that 9000. So that was our idea behind making CDs sexy and easy to use yeah. and kind of make it fun. Yeah. Yeah. And the moment has that same kind of basis behind it. Let's awesome. you know, get, consolidate the cloud and how we use all our stuff on our phone. So Very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. cool. Well, Petra, thanks for coming over and joining us Thank and showing off the new headphones. You guys uh, head over to Bang & Olufsen's website and you can check them out. I'm sure these are going to be available in retail stores yes, nationwide. Yes, retail stores nationwide, yep. Everything else, yep. all right. Well, cool, thanks guys. <laughs> thanks for uh, hanging out with us here. We're going to continue our coverage here from CES Live. We will be right back. That's Georgia. I'm John P. Hang in there.